Everyone's been enjoying the snow, right? Now that you've got those clear blue skies, you can get out and enjoy that snowpack. And you're like this one, where annual inflow from the snowmelt might be 10 times the operating capacity of our reservoir. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about NASA, because NASA is talking about the mountains snow and the giant pack of mountain snow that is in the Sierras. You see, the Sierra snowpack is bigger than the past four year total. So that means it's big. How big? Hopefully we shall find out. Baby, I need your love. Newsflash, the Milky Way galaxy just got a little weirder. Active volcanoes. Enjoy. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, let's read more of the story. NASA data show that the snowpack in the Tulumenian River Basin in California's Sierra Nevada is larger than the last four is larger than the last four years of snowpack combined. That is fascinating. Now we get to that hard science. New NASA data show that the snowpack in Tulumene River Basin in California's Sierra Nevada, a major source of water for San Francisco and California's troubled Central Valley, is currently larger than the four previous years of snowpack combined. NASA's Airborne Snow Observatory measured the Tulumene Basin snowpack on April 1st. A critical annual measure of snow for states. All right. I'm getting ambushed by a cat, but she's cute, so it's okay. It's currently larger than the four previous years of snowpack combined. You see, NASA's Airborne Snow Observatory, ASO, ASO, say it however you want, measured the Tulumene Basin snowpack on April 1st. A critical annual measurement of snow for states and their inhabitants. At 1.2 million acre feet, that's enough snow to fill the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, nearly 1,600 times. Well, you guys should have done something way cooler and made it like they could have filled Grand Canyon once. You know, it's easier for people to picture something they filled up once as opposed to 1,600 Rose Bowls. The Airborne Snow Observatory is the only program that measures snow depth, snow water equivalent, the water contained in snow, and how much sunlight snow reflects over an entire basin. Using two scientific instruments, as opposed to musical instruments, the scanning lidar and an imaging spectrometer and a King Air aircraft. All other snow monitoring programs sample only a few locations on the ground or give an average over a broad area. The Airborne Snow Observatory flies in California, Colorado, Oregon, Nevada, and Idaho. But they're like, keep us away from Kansas. That place is crazy. The Airborne Snow Observatory oh, I see all that shit. is flying a research version the Swiss Alps. Fred Garricky, chief of the California Cooperative Snow Surveys of California's Department of Water Resources said, in such a huge snow season, the data available for the ASO will provide critical guidance for water managers as we enter into the peak melt season later this spring. Be sure it's later this spring, buddy. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We're having a lot of heat spikes and we're breaking heat records all over the place. Principal investigator Tom Painter of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, explained. Before ASO, water managers had intense stress worrying about how much potential runoff was stored in the mountain snowpack. With little historical information about snowpack, years as large as this to guide reservoir management and allocation decisions. What? I remember that funny. Who knows? With ASO, we will be precisely quantifying this volume and how it changes through the spring. Before 2013, when the ASO program began, errors in forecasting the total Sierra Nevada snowmelt season runoff were frequently greater than 20% and occasionally greater than 40%. Now, errors in forecasting runoff from basins that ASO monitors have dropped to less than 2%. That's a, that's a drastic improvement. You're kidding, kidding. Okay. The 2017 California snowpack is close to the largest on record, which consists of decades worth of snow measurements made at ground level. ASO mapping showed that the Tulamini Basin snowpack is twice the volume of last year's snowpack, and 21 times larger than the snowpack of 2015, the lowest on record. The combined April 1st snow water equivalent of 2013, the combined April 1 snow water equivalent of 2013 through 2016, years when California was in an intense drought, added up to only 92% of this year's April 1st measurement in much of the Central Sierra. Snow lies. Did you hear that, people? I don't know, maybe that's metaphor or cocaine. Because maybe the cocaine's telling you you're cool. And maybe you're just sitting around doing cocaine, telling people old drug stories from 15 years ago when you are in college. Nobody wants to hear that, man. The snow lies 25 feet deep, 8 meters, in some high mountain basins. It's deeper than 80 feet. Whoa. 
And since April 1st, 80 feet, it has continued to snow. And last night I flew over it. And there was a giant blanket of snowing snow in the clouds the whole way over the Sierras. This year, the program began mapping the San Joaquin River Basin in California's Central Valley with funding from Friant Water Authority in Friant, California, and NASA's Western Water Applications Office. In that bash, this year's April 1st snow water equivalent was about 2.9 million acre feet. Come on, JPL. We can't get like some size comparison diagram of how much that would be. This is a critical path to better water management for the San Joaquin River and Friant Dam, particularly in a year like this one where annual inflow from the snowmelt might be 10 times the operating capacity of our reservoir, or the annual inflow from the snowmelt might be 10 times the operating capacity of our reservoir. A lot of the snow in our basin accumulates in protected wilderness areas where conventional monitoring is restricted or prohibited. ASO is leading us to earlier and better water management decisions. With the addition of San Joaquin Basin, the Airborne Snow Observatory now maps the snowpack of the entire Central Sierra Nevada range for the Kings River in the South Cat. Sorry, cat likes to walk across the keyboard. I have my suspicions why, but I won't go into them now. The ASO now maps the snowpack of the entire central Sierra Nevada range from Kings River in the south to Tillerman River in the north. A milestone and a planned expansion of the program to cover the entire Sierra Nevada and other key regions in the west. What do we learn here? All right, we got tons of snow in the Sierras, and it's going to melt someday, some way, somehow. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot sooner than they think. So get ready, because this ain't funny. There's a lot of snow in the Sierras, and it's about to get runny. So put on your Kango, and let's do this. This is real science, recognizing possible potential problems in the future. Now what are we going to do about it, people? When dams start breaking, the infrastructure begins to collapse like dominoes. We better know now, it's going to get real hot real soon, and then things will be all real melted. All right, well, God bless everyone. Keep you guys updated. Stay cool.